We just did a guide on how to breed perfect IV Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now to follow this up, if you have got a lot of low level or newly hatched Pokemon, or you're just wanting to level up Pokemon anyway, this guide is going to be great because we're going to go through the best farming method for experience points to get your Pokemon from level 1 to 100 in no time at all. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So we've just come off the back of our competitive breeding video where we've managed to breed a perfect Tinkertink and this is the successful breed here. We've got five perfect IVs on it. As I said in that video, the special attack doesn't matter. But the issue is it's not competitively ready because it is level one. Now, leveling up can be difficult if you don't have the items and it can be very time consuming if you don't know the right methods. But there is a method within these games that we're going to go over in today's guide to show you how you can level up really quickly and without much effort at all. So what we want to do is is just fly firstly we need to pick up some items to mesagoza in the west area here and there are two shops that we're going to have to go to you can go to any of the deli counters around the region there's four specific items that you're going to need they're just very close to each other in mesagoza west so it's easy enough to just show you where you're going to be able to go and pick these items up from i want to just look over this direction they're going to be shirkans over here and then there is the artisan bakery just below it shirkans is the one that we're going to want to go into first and in here we are going to want to buy pickles so just grab a bunch of these however many you can buy how much money you've got just buy as many as you can and then once you've got the pickles the next stop is going to be down to the artisan bakery which is this store right here and there are three more items that we're going to need to pick up in this store for the sandwiches so we're going to pick up a bunch of ham firstly then we want mayo and the final thing that we're going to need is mustard and that is all of our condiments and fillings for the sandwich that we're going to require so you've got the pokemon that you want to level up in your party the next thing that we're going to want to do is head over to a particular area it's going to be north province area three and it is located here on the map you can get to this area in the early game you don't need any ride mechanics to get here it will take a long time to walk to this area but you can get to this area on foot no ride mechanics so it's an uh, it's going to be something that is available easy accessible very early on in your games okay, once we are at this area what you're going to want to do is find an area where you can set up a picnic because we are going to be making a sandwich which is going to be really useful in spawning a particular Pokemon that's going to allow us to really farm experience points. So this seems like a good spot here. We'll just set up a picnic. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is make a sandwich. And you're going to come down onto your menu screen and look for the bog standard run of the mill ham sandwich. See the ingredient list there. Pickles, ham, mayonnaise and mustard. We'll click on this and uh, we'll get started. Well, the only toppings that we're gonna need to put on this are the ham. Just be careful when you're doing this because if you drop any, then it does affect the, the, the kind of the power ranking of the sandwich. There we go. Pickles on, bread on, what a mess. <laughs> and you'll see once it's done, your party will eat it. You'll have a bit of a snack on this ham sandwich. It's the most unappealing looking sandwich, I, I have to say big fan of subs but this just looks these guys seem to like it so anyway the sandwich is eaten you're going to get the star rating for how well you've made this sandwich and then you're going to get these powers in the corner you're going to get encounter power normal that is what we're looking for um that's the main one it's going to be level one you can obviously get level two and higher which will increase it but level one is actually all you really need so we're in this area the other thing to note as well on the pokemon that you're concentrating on getting xp on you're going to want to try and give it the lucky egg item because the lucky egg item is something that you get after you've beaten the fifth gym and visit the sixth gym you'll get given this by jack uh, he'll come in and give you the lucky egg item as you can see it is on our tinker tink here and this just gives you more experience points for beating wild pokemon you want to have a strong pokemon in the party in front of you preferably a fighting type and then you want to just come down and you can use the battle function if you want 
Uh, it does take a bit longer, or you can use the auto battle function. So we've got a level 100 Tinkerton here. So this is this is all we need. But you can see from this process now, 10,000 experience points we're getting from Tinker Tink. 10,000. 23 levels in one chancy, which is just absolutely nuts. So that is crazy. It's not going to take long to get this thing to level 50 if you want it ready for like VGC uh, competitive or if you want to get it to level 100. It is not going to take long at all. And there we go. There's a chancy there. And you can just use the, the let's go command to battle them, especially if you're knocking them out in one go then it is going to make it very easy. Obviously, if you are getting wild Pokemon running into you in this area, if you've come from a very early point in your playthrough just to come here, you've got to be careful about getting attacked by random Pokemon just running into you when you are using the, the Let's Go feature. So, like I say, all the chances are kind of over this side. So we'll have a look at the experience points that we get from the Auto Battle feature. So you can see you'll get a pop-up here and 89 it's not a lot but it's way way quicker than going into a battle but when you think about it the amount of xp that you're getting it's probably better just to go in and fight each one of these just to say okay well we're gonna get more xp and it doesn't take half the amount of time and if you've already got a Pokemon with level 100 in your party, it means that Pokemon's not taking up any of the XP either. So the, all the XP that you're getting is just going onto that one Tinker Tink or the or other Pokemon that you've got in your party here. So it is an extremely fast, fast method. Okay, and that is level 50. So pretty much uh, Tinker Tong is now VGC ready, pretty much. And that has not taken any time at all to get to level 50. See, that's like 20 minutes to get to level 50, which is no time at all with just one Pokemon as well. If we had more in our party, you know, we're leveling up more at the same time. But that is very, very good. That's it. That is how you use the sandwich method and this area to just get respawning chances for at least 30 minutes that you can use the auto battle function with or you can use the actual just battling function with combined with a lucky egg to get absolutely ridiculous amounts of experience points and get your Pokemon from like level one to level 100 in no time. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe and I will see you all in another video very soon. So thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. So until then, bye-bye.